Hello? Bagley here. How did everything go earlier? Found someone who might be interested in the cause. Ready? I'm here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach. So you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal. Here. I got the server loaded into your ride. Oi! Don't drive like a dickhead! Wouldn't want you to blow it up. I could get used to this sort of lifestyle. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. This is brilliant. Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic!
You're too far. I'm served from your optic, so I need you to stay within range. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. All right, scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell, do they use it for anything but watching people shag? Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Suspect. What the fuck do I do about these things? Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them, throw rocks at them, destroy them psychologically with cyberbullying. Just keep them busy until the transfer's complete. this server forever and we should probably wipe our prints off it anyway keep talking i'll overload the cpus to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit 
the electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know. Run! fun wasn't it we pulled off a heist made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world and most importantly i got a new toy to play with now run along back to the safe house sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. Yeah, look, what we need to do now is clash with the fuckers who is exploiting London. And what about Albion? Don't tell me you haven't noticed them turning the city into a war zone. And Clan Kelly, they're preying on the most vulnerable. We need to take them out too. Fair, but remember that this zero day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London.
I found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. Oof, what a pit. This place used to be happening. Now it's just a reminder of what happened. Supposed to be abandoned and under repair, but crawling with fucking security. It don't seem right, does it? You're a quick one. Hey, what's this thing I'm looking for, Bagley? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. This is it. 
The signal is coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Yeah, it's been fucked up. What's it doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Two more data relays to go. Data relay, and I'll have it.
that should do it. Now, I'll just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back for you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Uh. That one twat was with Clan Kelly. Fucking gangsters did the bombings. Nah, that was just a handoff. I mean, it still is bad, but the Kellys didn't plant the bombs. They only supplied them. Nah, there's no way this gal is with Clan Kelly. So what, does she run with Zero Day or something? Well, don't just stand there, keep looking. Who controlled that spider bot? Do you know, Bagley? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Of course the fucking cops were watching. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Got some bag magic, cuz. Shrink me down quantum like so I can slip through. Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Yeah, that's a good call. human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Got it. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day signature. Damn, hurry. We've got all the delivery. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. they got multiple crews to do the bombings together. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. 
passé Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. What, so the cops knew it wasn't dead tech this whole time and didn't say nothing? Now that's some peak shit right there. We had a right to know. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Fuck me, Albion's taken over the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. I can't say I miss the cops, but I can't allow this Albion shit. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. Wait, 
What was that? You can't win. Stand down. Oh, you have got to be joking. Is this the same Spider-Bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spider-Bot from the Tone bombing site. Well, can you do your, like, magic and find the last user? Navigate the Spider-Bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. On it. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now.
Look at all this junk. You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening. decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? But don't tell me Albion has our best interests on our If the police could handle their job, Albion wouldn't be But they can't. Home bombing is a perfect example. your way through this last bent path. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine, whatever. Thank you. Thank God. Keep it together. Keep it together. There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Yeah.
the Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. This data's getting rooted all over the city. So where do we go next? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Hope you can find me a way in, Bagley. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Good spot to do some secret shit. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. I should keep looking. We're being contacted by our potential recruit. Patching them through now. I'm in your debt. Well, you want to repay us? Then join us. We need man them like you. All right, mate. I'm in.
My days, you seeing this? It's like a secret cop bunker. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. What I want to know is how they ended up at Tone. The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Now, you having a go? Albion are actually running with Clan Kelly. Like, for real? It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Loads of people are disappearing every day. We need to end this for real. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. You look like you could stand up and fight for these streets. Fuck me! Are you dead sick? I could use your help. Maybe, if we're not too busy. What's up? I brought my friend into this group, yeah? Protesting Albion and all that. Well, fuck. At the last protest, Albion turned up the heat and beat up my friend. They got kited away in an ambulance. Well, word is they're dead now. But the cunts won't let anybody see the body. God, that's fucking awful. I'm sorry, man. Something smells off about the whole thing. I want answers. If you can find out if my friends... if they're dead or not, I'd owe ya. Hmm, sounds dodgy. We'll look into it. Meantime, keep an eye out. and Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London-born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. 
Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sec. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shit. Good thing is, at least he's in London. Nobody's taking deportees. But EPC? That's bad news, fam. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. <laughs> 